Flicky is an AI software where they claim that they can turn text into videos with AI voices. W what is more, Flicky allows you to transform blog articles into videos, lifelike text to speech voices, rich stock media library. So let's see how it works. We start with start creating. I have an account already. I'm logged in. And what do we have? We have a menu above that is studio and account. When you're using account, of course, you can set up all the settings for that account, but let's focus on studio part. So there is a bar. We have files, podcasts, and books. What can we do with that? When we are using files, then we have two options. We can create new file. It can be audio or video file. I'll come back to it in a second. Then we have podcasts where we can create podcasts and books where we can create a new book. So let's start with files. In our example, I will create a video. It will be new file and let's name it Flicky Review. First, we need to type a name of our project or a file. Let's choose video. Whatever I will show you now, I will just show you the idea and then I'll show you the already made video. We have a Sarah. This is our voice. We can choose from over 50 voices and different languages. Whenever you need any specific language, accent, dialect, gender, then you can choose this. In our case, I will stay with Sarah. Here we type our text. Let's assume that we want a short video where we say how to care about our cats. Okay. So I prepared a script for myself using ChatGPT. Anyway, so let's take a first sentence. Taking care of your sweet cat is easy. Let's put it here. Taking care of your sweet cat is easy and it all starts with providing a safe and comfortable home. In the next step, we need to choose a video or an image. I'll go with a video. Our ChatGPT script suggests that we should have a shot of a cute cat sitting on a window. All right, so let's check if we can find one. It's a video, cat sitting, maybe window, like a keywords. So let's see what we have here. We have a cat, cat looking in. Okay, cute kitten on windowsill. All right, let's take that little kitty, right? So now we have a video, we have a text. That text will not take more than a few seconds, three seconds, maybe four. So what can we do? We can change the duration of that video. See, the original video is about 16 seconds. Let's change this to six seconds, okay? So there you go. Duration has been updated. And then next episode, we can add another part. Let's check this. So make sure your cat has a comfortable place to sleep and access to fresh food and water, okay? So again, we're choosing video, changing the duration, repeat the process. What is worth mentioning, whenever you play with text here, you can change or tune the text a little bit, rate, pitch, or make it clear again. You can add pause and change pronunciation. With adding that pause, it's quite useful because it goes rather quickly through all of that parts of the script. So it's worth putting pause here. And then you can add a background music. Okay, you can choose music file. What should it be? It should be calm, be beautiful, calm. Yeah, interesting calm. Let's see, maybe it's too calm. Anyway, once you choose a music, that will be your background music. Reduce that and save. We have an option that you can place a text and let the AI pick a video for you. I can tell you that it didn't work for me. So I think they have to work on that more. And of course, they claim that you can also import from blog, right? I think it is valid as long 
as you have a kind of a lifestyle blog and nothing technical, nothing special. Once you have a really in-depth review, then it's obvious that first of all, you have to do the video on your own because probably in the stock videos, you won't find this. And secondly, I think that you will have to have greater control over it. So let's see how it looks after all our changes. So we go to files. I have a flicky review ready video and here's the video itself. Why can't play that? How to take care of your sweet cat. Taking care of your sweet cat is easy and it all starts with providing a safe and comfortable home. Make sure your cat has a comfortable place to sleep and access to fresh food and water. Spend quality time with your cat every day, playing and petting them. Keep the litter box clean and accessible and provide scratching posts to prevent damage to furniture. Groom your cat regularly, brushing their fur and keeping their nails trimmed. Finally, show your cat lots of love and affection to keep them happy and healthy. Take care of your sweet cat and they'll take care of you. So, this is it. Just a few remarks. Here, you can create podcasts. So, again, it's a very simple process. You create a new show where you put a title of that podcast, AI, Vicky Show, description, category, education. You can pick cover image. Again, use whatever fits you. It's not published, safe. Okay, subcategory course, safe. And then once you have that overarching page, you can create episodes. So you can add new episode again, part one, flicky intro, and so on. Intro to flicky, not published yet, safe. Once you save it, then you can start writing your podcast and then let the AI voices read that. All right, it all depends on what your audience expects. If your idea is to create like faceless podcasts where you say at the beginning to your audience, hi, I'm AI and I'm providing that information on behalf of, I know, your name and it's fine. The main idea is to tell a story in a natural way. So it all depends on you. And the last step is creating books. You can create a new book here again name of the book, author, description, you pick a cover and the process exactly the same. You are entering chapters, you are importing scripts and then let the voice read that. What are the disadvantages of that tool? I think it's to my experience, it uses a lot of resources and it's quite expensive. So look at that, I just created 38 seconds movie. I tried this a couple of times before recording this. So whenever I'm recording that things, changing something a little bit, then it costs, right? So your credits can be used really quick. And I think this is disadvantages. Okay. There are other advanced features like you can build your team so you can create a team, but remember you're paying for each team member additionally. So even if you are in that basic plan and you're adding team members, the price goes up. So check it out before purchasing this. Then we have a voice cloning. They can clone your voice and then your voice can talk about it. They just need two minutes of your voice then generate and the number of voices over in your voice with just text. I don't know how it works, but I've been using a top-notch script where I needed to provide at least 30 minutes of my voice to get it done properly. So you can try it. This is more everything here. Advantages, really simple software you can use for lifestyle shorts, lifestyle reels, and I think it works well. If that's your aim, then you are good to go. If you are looking for something more advanced, then I would suggest to look for different solutions. Thank you very much for watching this. Bye.